You should know it by now. Detective, we need you here. For sure. Hmm? We need your help to find him. Only you can solve this case. First, I need my detective notebook. Hello there, young detective apprentice. You know what a detective notebook is for, right? All right, I need your help here, young ones. Please come to Mastercraft Labs. Only him can show where to get it. Without your help, we cannot solve this case. Oh, hi there. You must be the new detective apprentice. <laughs> I've heard a lot about you. And from looking at you, you look like you have a lot of talent. Well, my name is Master Craft, and this is my Master Craft Lab. You can make anything you want here. Now, we should get started because I know that Detective needs to start his wow. case. Now, you're here because the detective needs a notebook. You know why a detective needs a notebook, correct? That's right. He needs a notebook so he can put all the clues that he finds at the crime scene into the notebook so he can solve wow. the case better. So, I'm going to show you how to make a notebook for your own detective case. Let's get started. Let's prepare the material. A notebook, cardboard sheets, colored paper, crafting tools and tape, cleaning sponge. Measure and cut out the notebook cover. Create letter stamps using soft foam. Use sticky tape and markers to decorate with your imagination. We finished. Look at this masterpiece. It looks wonderful. It's got lots of pages and things for us to have and clues that have already been written down. Now, you should make your own for yourself as well. I showed you earlier how to make it, so if you didn't see it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and you can watch it as many times as you want and make your own detective notebook. Whew. Well, we better solve this case, so let's take this notebook to the detective. Here we go. Thank you very much, young apprentice. You're very helpful. Now, help me look around this room and take note as many clues as we can using this notebook. I'm sure the thieves must have left something behind. Brilliant, but somehow I figured out the way he stole this precious ground. Hmm, I need my detective camera. Where is it? Oh, hi, you're back again. <laughs> How'd that notebook work out? Were you able to use it to put all the clues inside? That's great, I knew it'd come in handy. <laughs> so, 
So the detective forgot some of his detective tools again. Ah, he does this all the time. I'm guessing he needs a detective camera. Not a problem, we can make that real quick. Now you know why a detective wow. needs a camera, right? That's right, so he can take photos of the evidence and then you can take those photos and put it in that notebook I showed you how to make. All right, so let's get started making that camera. Here we go. Cardboard sheet, color papers, color with clear plastic sheets, glove, scissors, tape, plastic cups. You can draw a picture of the tip on clear plastic sheet. Draw the template of camera on cardboard sheet. Cut the camera's template out of cardboard sheet. Make the camera's body from template. Cut the bottom of plastic cup to make the lens. Let's start decorate. Decorate the camera as you like. Whew, we finished the camera. Look at this masterpiece. It looks awesome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button underneath so you can join us every week. Now this camera, check it out. It's got a viewfinder, it's got a lens, it's got a, a button so you can take pictures. It's also got a strap. The strap's important so you don't drop your camera. You can even look through here and take those shots. It's awesome. I'm glad we built this camera. Make sure you build a camera for yourself too. It's very important to have a camera for a detective so they can take pictures of all the evidence that they find or they'll forget it. And then they can put all those photos in the notebook that we built before. Now, we gotta hurry and make sure that we got this case solved. So make sure you take this camera straight to the detective, all right? Good luck. Oh, you're here already. How fast, you really have fun. Let's use this camera to take as many photos of the crime scene as possible, okay? Focus not only on the suspicious place, but also on the close-up details at each place. I'm sure the team must have left something around the ground display box. These are photos that we took at the crime scene. Tell me, have you found anything suspicious? Do you see it? Yes, that's right. There is something strange under the display box. Can you tell me what it is? Yes, look like a small piece of paper. You know what we should do next, right? Yeah, sure. We need to get back to the museum to see what it is. Please head to Master Craft Laboratory and ask him for my evidence collecting kit, okay? How is it going? You have been standing here for a very long time without speaking. This thief is very professional. Many police came and they didn't find any clues. That crown is very important to us. 
The crown will be given to the princess for her birthday next month as a gift. And the queen wanted everyone in the city so they can take a look and see it for the first time in history to celebrate the princess's birthday. And now, it's all because of me. I feel ashamed for what happened. Oh, here you are. Why did it take you so long? It must be Master Graf who talks too much all the time, right? Did you bring my detective kit? Oh, hey young detective. Good to see you again. Were you able to use the camera? Did you find all the evidence? Great. And you made a camera for yourself too? Oh, that's perfect. Remember, practice makes perfect. And nothing's impossible here in Mastercraft Lab. Well, the detective called me and he told me he needs to get his evidence finding kit together. So, I already have one here to show you. We've got the open, it opens up and it has all of his tools inside of it. Lots of different things that he's gonna use to collect all the evidence. He also keeps some of his top secret evidence inside here too. So, we're in a hurry, so we better start making a new one. Let's get started. Two pizza passes. Use screw to stick two pizza boxes together. Make the handle of the suitcase. Paint the suitcase in black. Decorate the suitcase as you like. Make separate area inside the suitcase to hold the tunes. We finished another masterpiece from Mastercraft. Now, we have our evidence collecting kit, so we have to look what's inside of it. There's lots of different tools. We have our notebook that we made earlier, and we have this very special tool that I want to tell you about. So I'm going to pull this out. All right, so right here, is one of the most important tools for a detective. It's a fingerprint collection kit. So, there's three different tools inside of here. You have your fingerprint powder, your brush, and your clear tape. Now here's how you use this. You need to find something that the criminal has touched. I have this cup right here. So, what you will do is you'll first take the fingerprint powder and you're gonna take the brush and you're gonna put a little bit of the powder on the brush and dust where you think the fingerprint of the criminal is. After you do that, you're going to take the tape that you have right here and you're gonna cut off a little piece of the tape. And what you're going to do is you're going to want to put the tape on the fingerprint, just like this. And then you're going to peel that tape off, and you'll have a perfect copy of the criminal's fingerprint. Awesome, right? I think so. Super cool. All right, so, and that's how you use the fingerprint collection kit. All right, I know you're in a hurry, so let's get you on your way. Put all these things back inside the case. Move the evidence back to where we got it. 
All right, young detective, here you go. Oh, I forgot. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you can create your own evidence collection kit. All right, young one, take this to the detective. Very nice. Thank you so much. Now, let me do the secret technique. Watch and learn. I know you can do it. I know it. mistake. I found a piece of candy graph underneath the display box. This thief is a candy addict. That's why there is candy graph inside his pocket. And unfortunately for him, it fell out of his pocket while he was trying to open the ground display box. Using my detective kit, and of course, with the help of this little apprentice here. I was be able to scan his fingerprint. Now, we just need to find where the thief is hiding. And I know exactly where he is. It's not far from here. Ha 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 ha. How can you be so sure, detective? If you were a candy addict like this thief, after easily stealing a very valuable item like this crown, where would you go to celebrate your victory? We need a pair of binoculars here to look for the thief. I need your help again to create one for me. Please head to our Mastercraft lab once more. Welcome to Mastercraft. A very valuable crown was stolen from the National Museum by a thief, and... Uh, oh, hi, young detective. How's the case going? Uh, don't tell me. You're here to thank me for all my hard work because you found the thief. Uh, oh, you, you haven't found the thief. And the detective needs some binoculars. That's okay. Don't give up, young detective. Remember, here at Mastercraft, nothing's impossible. Let's get started making those binoculars. Cat ball sheet. Use compass to draw two circles on cat ball. Draw binoculars template from previous circles. Cut binoculars template out of cat ball sheet. Use toilet paper rolls to make eyepiece and objective lens. Decorate your binoculars as you like. All right, we finished our binoculars. Another masterpiece from Mastercraft. Check these out. Whew, they work great. Awesome, young detective. Well, you better be on your way. Here you go. An arrogant thief and a candy addict on top of that. He must be just right under our nose. He inside the candy shop, enjoying his victory with a lot of sugary candy. Let's go get him, guys!
Well, I know. It's great that we were able to retrieve the crown. Not in good shape, I know, but I'm still working on the solution. He is too smart. We almost got him, but I'm afraid his real target is not the crown. He must be up to something bigger. Don't worry about the crown. We can fix it. Like it had never been broken. Trust me, my friend. Okay, goodbye. Please wait for my good news. I think we can take a break while I try to rearrange all the clues and think about the case. I think this thief has a bigger plan. I must find out what he is up to. Maybe you can come to Master Craft to see if he has any interesting things to show you. Oh, hi, young detective. How's your case going? Oh, you haven't caught the thief yet. That's okay. Oh, and the detective gave you the day off because he has some dangerous work and he thinks that the thief has a bigger plan. That's, that's totally fine. How about we make something fun today? I know. Let's make a crown. Let's go. Crown template of the crown on cardboard sheet. Cut the crown template out of cardboard sheet. Cut another crown template from colored foam sheet. Use tape to stick two templates together. Forming the ground. Decorate your ground as you like. Alright, we finished our crown. Check out this masterpiece made in Mastercraft Lab. It is beautiful and it fits perfectly on my head. Don't forget to subscribe, that way you can make your own crown at home with your family. Check it out. Hello? Hello, Master Craft. Oh, hello, Detective. How is your case going? It's complicated. We haven't caught the thief yet. He ran away when we got there. And the rest, you knew already, right? Yes, I saw on the news that you found the crown, but it was broken. That's right. It's giving the museum manager and me a headache. We don't know what to say to the queen. <laughs> Detective, you've forgotten that nothing's impossible here in the Mastercraft lab. Does it mean you can help us to fix the crown? Yes, I can definitely help you to fix that crown. Just go ahead and bring it to the lab. Oh, thanks, Master Craft. You're awesome. I know I'm awesome. Thank you. I'll see you at the lab soon. All right, we finished the crown. Check out this beauty. Another masterpiece made from Master Craft. Oh, it looks awesome. She won't even know the difference. It's brand new. All right, so now you can take this crown and give it to the detective, and then the detective can give it to the museum, then the museum can give it to the queen, and then the queen can give it to the princess. Oh, it's a fairy tale come true. Off you go. Go ahead and give it to the detective. All right, my young detectives, it's time for me to say goodbye. But make sure you hit that subscribe button because I can't help but wonder 
if we'll ever catch that thief or what his master plan is. I'll see you guys next time. And don't forget that anything is possible in the Mastercraft Lab. Bye, guys. See you later.